And it's Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Good morning, and I have some paint left. I don't know how, but I'm going to do the simplest thing possible on this 8 by 10 inch canvas. And I'm going to start by covering it all. And removing that lump. And that lump. Sort of. Yeah, that lump's got to go. And it's Siamese cousin. And um, since I don't see the, oh, I saw, I see the, my Oxo paint spreading spatula right over there, so I will do that. And these are available on the Amazon link below the video. Anytime you shop there, it's no additional cost to you, and it helps me out immensely. So I appreciate that. And you will maybe you will see my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. I'll show you those in a minute. Also, maybe. So I have a nice layer wet white paint and my sun is fading but I can still see enough to do one more painting. I'd like that to go right to the edge and that's going to go right in the bucket and so these are colors mixed in my iPod case and I'm doing a lot of anding <laughs> and they might be a little bit on the uh, getting stiff side so I'm just going to add enough gold that I've been making up with my mica powder, which is also on my Amazon link, by the way. And then I am going to, hopefully, just put it right down the middle. and let it spread out, which may entail using an edge catcher, and that's going in my bucket. I lost my edge, I lost my iPod case for a while and it made me very unhappy because it's just the perfect little size, All right. as opposed to this edge catcher which is huge. I'm going to let that puddle down on one end and let it go back to the other end. And by pressing it up close by, I will get ah, to cover my edges. Now it's back in the middle again. So I'm going to treat it a little bit like a ring pour. And I'm just going to keep tipping until I get some stuff I like. And I love that black in there. It makes me want more. And I really could swipe some of this out. And it's very tempting to swipe it out to the edges with like a basing brush or a little spatula or something. But I think I'm just going to keep doing something I've always wanted to do, which is play with the center section. To see what happens. And I'm not losing any paint by letting it pool. And I do throw it back into the design and it doesn't mix too awful thoroughly, which is a good thing. Because I really like that little black area that I'm losing rapidly as I say, as I speak. And also I can scrape it right off again if I want. Off the edge catcher that is and put it right back into the uh, composition such as it is. Now I get to decide what, if anything, I want to do with this. And I have more paint. Whoops, that's too big. Okay, I have a smaller one. Here's my smaller one. This one's a number two. So the whole basis and premise of this particular exercise is to see what you can do with your leftover paint. And even though I've been making scapes, I wouldn't call this one escape unless I f find some way to manipulate it into looking more like <laughs> I don't know I don't think it's happening I wonder if I want some other colors and I have some other colors and they're setting up a little bit but the fresh paint in the or the nearly fresh paint I should say 
Wow, that's a big lump. What are you a lump of, lump? Just, just congealing paint. But I'm just looking to use up what I've got. And because there's fresh white paint on the canvas, it will it will freshen up anything I add to it too. All right, all that's going in the bucket. And now I'm gonna think about this for like a split second. What I really want is to dribble some gold in there. And maybe just maybe somewhere over here. Ah, I found it. This is my new gold that's made from gold mica powder that's on that's on my Amazon link. And I just want to play with it. I want to pull some spirals out. See what happens. I want to give myself the pleasure of dragging it along. I could play with it and see what happens when I put my basting brush in. I think I like that. I think I want to do a lot of that. I think I'm so not done. just pulling gold every which way. Letting it flow right over the edge where I need to be covered. Seeing what it dries like because I don't really know with, with all that white paint if it shows up or not or if we lose it. Makes me want to put a little bit of black right there. Some of my favorite paintings turn out to be 8 by 10s I'm not minding any of that at all. I may want some more. I'm not wiping, I'm purposely not wiping off my skewer till that moment when I use my fingers because um, I want everything that's on it to continue to blend everything else. I'm trying to be a little bit conscious of not removing all of it. I'm wondering what color I can use up there. I have no orange in here. Do I really want some? I don't know, I can tell pretty easily. Let's use the smallest amount possible. No, I'm not minding that. But it will require a little bit more. It's not that hard to spend 20 minutes. My camera shuts off in 20 minutes, so I set my timer for 17. So I have a little bit of time to talk to you guys. And as much as I like that, I like the pink a lot better. And I'm so not done with that gold. It's the same as my book title. It's a because I can moment. And it's an anything goes play moment. I went a little further toward excess than I wanted to with that black. But I'm going to pull out my tubing. And play for a moment with everything. Huh. That just makes me want some Prussian blue and to... Uh, To use a spatula to pull down through. All right, 
right, that turned out to be a lot more of painting, more painting than I was expecting, to tell you the truth. But um, we have not torched, and we torched to release the bubbles in the paint. And I also torched to release patterns, and I suspect we might release a few patterns. I'm using whatever paint I've got on the edge that I can see that's on my tile. Just picking it up and sticking it on the edge with my finger. Or in this case, I've got a big white gap, and I'm going to just put a drop of it right there. Maintain the little bit of white negative space I've got left. Grab some other paint. Oop, that's dry. That's dry. That's dry. All right, I'm really running out of paint. <laughs> okay, never mind. All right, I see what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add a dot of the black to that edge right there. And then my white and black fingers will finish up everything else. And that's perfect. So, what do I want in there for balance? Anything? I want that blue. That's all right. Do I have enough gold? It's sort of, um, I sort of buried it every chance I got. Oops, I still didn't drop it in the painting. I do kind of like that. I didn't try a bunch of waggling and I would like to waggle waggle. <laughs> yes. Because it stays. If I don't agitate it with a spatula too much, it stays a lot better. That's kind of fun. I like that. All right, so let's torch. Try not to melt any, set up any paint, make it smoke this time. It's lots of little tiny baby cells. I use GAC 800 by Golden in my paint mixture to keep the paint from cracking when it dries, when it's thick like it happens to be right now. I kind of want to tip this, but um, I think it's time to call it good. I've used up all my paint and it's the day is done. Oh, I'm getting some beautiful cells though. It's going to be really pretty close up. I do see that I have what looks to be kind of a very canvassy area right there, and I want it to be way more black than that. And the same up there. I want more black up there. Yep, an artist is never done. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know how you feel about that, but I like it pretty much. Do I want more up there? I do. I'm going to run out of time in a second. I just made a few videos in a row, so I'm not sure what I told you and what I didn't tell you. I like that black. Added something I liked a lot right there. And since I still got some on my skewer, I'm just going to use it. I'm just playing. Having a good time. I recommend it. So check out my Amazon link for the spatulas that you want, which are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven which are Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. Keep them cleaner than I do. They're all going in a bucket of water right now and I scrub them with a scrubby. And then, I found both my spatulas, but they're kind of wet. So, I'll show you together. The OXO, come on, water off. They're OXO, one smaller, one larger. I like the larger one. It's usually less expensive, I don't know why. It has a more flexible blade. But they are OXO omelet turning spatulas and uh, available on my Amazon link. Also, you can look for the gold mica powder. That is also been included now on my Amazon link. And I mix that with GAC 800 and Floetrol. Um, be careful to uh, protect yourself. Put a, put a face mask on or something to do that. It's, I don't think it's good to breathe that stuff. Um, it says it's makeup grade and it's safe and stuff, but I still recommend having some kind of protection. Anyway, so there's Facebook albums of wet and dry artworks from YouTube at the bottom of the description underneath the video. Yeah, I can't keep my fingers out, I know. And uh, right there in the same place, there's Pinterest and Instagram link. And in the body of the description under the video, as I'm always telling everybody, is my paint pouring recipe. 
should you desire it. Um, the book that's out is called Because I Can. It's the um, processes and tools and links and pictures of the dry first 100 YouTube videos. I do sell my artwork. If you want something, just please ask me and I will give you an email and we can get in touch. I have PayPal invoicing. I'd really appreciate your thumbs up. It helps my placement on YouTube. And um, I want to say thank you for all the people who contributed to, in 2018 to keep me painting, especially when I first started making videos on YouTube. I really appreciate that. And I run a, con a constant contest where one name will be drawn once a month uh, to be able to choose one of three paintings. This is, right now, is the last time it's going to be 16 by 20 because it's too hard to find a box. And uh, I'll save them for people who want to buy them. Um, so there'll probably be some 14 by 14s coming right up, but not yet. And if you contribute through PayPal or Patreon, and you have a current email address, and you want a phone number included there, I will try and contact whoever the winner is for about three days, and then I'll draw another name. But um, I wanted to make sure you guys know how much I love you, and I appreciate your comments. You keep my morale up. I really appreciate it. And every once in a while, I just got a spiral. Yeah, okay, so I added more than one. Never mind. I love spirals. I'm pretty happy with spirals. They might be a little cliche, but they're fun for me. <laughs> and you actually got to see me do them. So I like that better now. Welcome to my world. Spontaneity rules supreme. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard at the end of the day. Hoping you saw most of that. Trying to get you to zoom, be zoomed in. There we go. We're good to go. All right, you guys take care. Please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget. And uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.